Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Hey, you guys, Killing Gay 6 AK Raymond. Hey, guys, I haven't done a prediction video in a long time, ever since I did the prediction videos of my virtual escape. So, a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of thoughts has been rattling in my brain, trying to figure out what, um, what's going to happen, and how is his dad going to take it if, um, they try to get a house and everything. So, my a lot of you guys wanted me to do a prediction video on what do we do, what's to expect or what's going to happen tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. Or well, he said that it, from the from the from the sound of the video from house hunting with that he said he has five days or three days. So the seventeenth might be the actual day that it happens. So that would be on the seventeenth, um, fifteenth. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Thursday might be the actual day that we will see a video of them talking to Psycho Dad. But, oh, First off, guys, where do I start on this house hunting video that we just seen yesterday? Guys, that video was really, really sad to watch because, you know, we've seen how Jesse was in hopes of getting a house. And after seeing that beautiful house, which... Strangely enough, that house does look familiar for something, but it is um, being renovated. Yeah, for something, but I, something tells me that I've seen that house before. I don't know where, but that's a mystery. Okay, guys, um, <laughs> uh, let me. Ask, I want to uh, leave it in the comments below. I want you to leave a comment for me. Do you think that uh, Michael was being unreasonable for Jesse, knowing the fact that he can't really afford a house? I mean, he was being honest, to be fair. I mean, why would Jesse believe that, yeah, the bank has money for me? It's, well, that's the thing. It, yeah, you get loans, but you have to pay the loan back. And you know how hard that is to pay a loan? Sometimes loans, uh, they charge you like, like $200 or $500 a month in order to pay for pay it off. I should know because my mom and dad, uh, they they've they have taken a loan before and then they were able to pay it off very easily, and um, it, it, it was really I have to say guys to be fair it was really tough to watch see how oh man this could be my room we could I could have my gaming room here and the basement oh my god we could do like Larry's lounge under here and Michael is like what the heck are you doing why are you saying that this is going to be your house you can't afford it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, giving his hopes up, that's the thing. I mean, I mean, to be fair, it's like, it was funny to see how Jesse was actually looking at Michael and saying, hey, uh, you, I, I know you buy your family stuff. I mean, I, consider, I, I think I would consider myself family to you. Do you think you could hook me up? It's like, wait a minute, you're trying to ask your friend to buy you a house or buy you something just because that he does it to his, for his family? He did it for his family because he wanted to. His family has been there for them, for him. And let me tell you, hey, angry grandpa, that was the thing. I mean, guys, I mean, it was tough to watch how... It was tough to watch that. So I don't understand why, why would Jesse actually say to Michael... He was actually saying you could borrow some of your friend's credit card. You could actually build – well, the thing about building a credit card, you have to build credit. Guys, the thing about building up a credit card is a good thing because you can be able to buy anything. You can buy a car. You can buy a house. You can do that. But the thing is you got to build credit up. Like me, for example, I have a Target uh, credit card. The reason why I got a Target credit card was because I had – that's how I bought my uh, my GoPro camera. Well, actually, I, I bought I bought the camera with my with my brother's uh, Best Buy credit card. I had to pay him tw uh, thirty bucks, twenty seven to thirty bucks every every month to pay it off, and I did, and it built it up. So I also so I decided to get myself a Target gift card. Well, I did Best Buy, but I messed up on it. So I had to do Target, and bam, I got a Target gift card. I just went from having three hundred credit to eleven hundred dollars in credit, and I'm building it up with Target. Now my little brother, my my brother tells me tells me that see if, if as long as you keep building your credit card credit up, there's gonna be a lot of other credit card people that will send you some information to have your your own credit card from their own company like Capital One, like Capital One for example. This is the type of car that you would get, you know, to use to buy a car or to buy a house, either one of those things. And let me tell you, it is really 
it's really a good deal. You just got to keep building your credit up. It was funny, man. I bought, I got that card last week, last year for March, and right now already in January, I have eleven hundred dollars in credit. So that's a good thing, guys. For Jesse, Jesse has no idea what a credit card is. I mean, the only thing that he knows about a loan is that, yeah, they give you money. Well, yes, obviously yes, but you have to pay it off. If you don't, you're gonna you you'll lose everything. It's kind of sad to see how Jesse was like, oh. Can I borrow your credit card so I can be able to build, get a house? I mean, what makes you think that he will allow him to use his credit card? And what makes him believe that he'll pay him back? That's the thing. I don't know. It's just that the way it is, it's just really unusual to see how Jesse is struggling right now because he has until then to do it. And then he waited till the last minute to do it. To be fair, guys, I... <laughs> Do you, I, do you guys I, – I, like I said before, guys, do you guys actually felt sad for him, you know, seeing him walk through this house and saying, oh, I want this, I want that? I bet you guys felt like, oh, man, Jess, don't give your hopes up, man. This is not going to do it. We look up to you. Look, why he says this, I want them to look up to me. We do look up to you. You make great stories. You, you gave us great merchandise. And you gave us a book. A book. There, let me show you. This. He gave us the graphic novel, guys, and that this book was uh, amazing. And now there's a to be continued, so that means that there's going to be another book coming soon. And I'm hoping that it's not too soon, but hey, it's worth the wait, you know. But um, yeah, you know, let, let, I, you know, he did make a good point. You know, a lot of YouTubers have their own houses. Yes, we see Lance have his own house. We see. Uh, Pickle Boy have his own house. We see Gravel has his own house because Michael gave it, uh, bought him a house. Um, we've seen Keemstar. We've seen uh, uh, B BF versus GF, which was Jesse and Gina. Those were famous YouTubers, boyfriend and girlfriend. They had their own apartment. Well, they had their own apartments. That's the thing. But that's different. Um, then we see Pranksters in Love. They These guys, they're boyfriend and girlfriend, but now they're married with a daughter. And they have their own house too. So... You know, guys, when you do uh, when you do YouTube videos, don't. It, it, I, my mom told me this last time. Don't expect to think that YouTube is going to help you out, or you want to keep doing this. You need a job on the side because if it doesn't work out, you need something on the side, and that's why that's what I'm that's what I do. So, guys, yeah, they would say YouTube is a job, but now Jesse's starting to realize that I guess it's not a job that much if he doesn't have the money to pay. For a house. I mean, it was tough to watch. All right, now predictions about what to expect in this vi in the video where we're going to see Michael talking to him. So let's go back to the actual video on what's going to happen. What am I going to say to my dad? How are you going to phrase this? What are you going to go in with? What are you going to end with? We're going to do this together, Jesse, okay? I Michael, I told this. you before, I'm not going to talk I to you. I can't do this for you, okay? You have to. That's the whole point, I thought, right? That's why you got him here? You don't understand. He doesn't He doesn't respect me. He respects There's you. There's a reason he doesn't respect you when he respects me, okay? Why? You don't act, you don't act, buy him stuff? Because you buy your dad stuff? Uh, dude, he knows that I respected my father, okay? And you're scurrying around in your own house. Scurrying. You're showing up in Did he just sweatpants. Say, what like, the heck does sweats have to do? Do. You're supposed to be taking serious buying the house. Yeah. What? Three more days. Alright? Okay. What is that? He tried to motivate you, Jess. To motivate me? Do you know how that makes me feel? That's too much pressure. Do you know how much pressure that is from a father? Bro, you have to be the one to talk. I'm going to talk, but I need you there with me while I do it's it. It's gonna make things worse. He doesn't he doesn't look look. So you're saying that it's me. I'm not. Is that what it is? I'm not. I'm the. What? I get it. Hey, Michael. Well, if you guys notice that, he's saying that it, it's me. Watch. You don't understand. He doesn't. He doesn't respect me. He respects There's you. There's a reason he does. Well, guys, that's the thing. <laughs> he doesn't respect him. Think. You said it's him. Yeah, it is him. Yeah, let's go back to that specific spot right there. Watch. You're up and Did he just sweatpants. say... What like, the heck does sweats have to do? You're supposed to be taking serious buying the house. Yeah. What? What? Really? What? All right. Okay. 
What is that? He tried to motivate you, Jess. To motivate me? Do you know how that makes me feel? That's too much pressure. Do you know how much pressure that is from a father? Bro, you have to be the one to talk. I'm going to talk, but I need you there with me while I do it's it. It's going to make things worse. He doesn't, he doesn't look, look, so you're saying that it's me. Well, yeah. Right there he's saying it's you. This is the reason why he doesn't respect that he that Je- he said that Jesse doesn't that his dad doesn't respect him. There's a reason why because he lies. Well, guys, think about this. After when the MVE was over, and then when he came home, and then when he had that lunch with Uncle Chris, he said, "So, uh, when are you going to LA?" He says, "No, I'm not going to go to LA. I'm going to stay here because after when we broke when I broke up with 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 Juliet, that was the plan. There, those two they were going to supposed to be together to go live in LA, but." Since they broke up, things change, and she wants to stay. I said, what? We're throwing you a going-away party in, in three months. And that and right there was the, was the saddest thing to hear because when he just told them that he's not going to L.A., that kind of seals the deal, saying like, oh, great, now we're doing this party for nothing. And he said, you got to tell your father, and he didn't tell his dad. He actually told everybody on the day that, the party was going. And then when he had Lance Stewart actually come in and ha- tell him that YouTube is a job. It is, man, he has his own house. He has his own car. And Lance tried to talk to him. But the thing is, is that what what is there to say? Yeah, I said, yeah, YouTube is a job, man. I have my own car. I have my own house. Is yes, but what does he have? Why is he trying to defend the fact that he has a job that – why is he trying to defend Jesse? This is the guy that pretend that he was gay. He pretend that he tried to kiss him, and he hid at in his uh, he well he actually didn't hide. He actually did a twenty four hour cha- challenge behind his backyard. And after when he decided to live with them, he decided to jump in the bed with them. That was crazy, and he got kicked out. And <laughs> well, think about well think about that, guys. He lied. But why does he need everybody else to talk to his dad? I mean, this is his father. That's not their father. That's his father. That's the reason why he doesn't respect him because he doesn't talk to him. He doesn't be truthful. He doesn't tell him how he feels. You know, guys, when we when, it's cool how when we do the Psycho series, we see how Psycho Kid tried to explain to his dad that he that YouTube is a job. And after when he got his money st- t- taken, he said that that money is actually proof of how well YouTube was for me. That's, that's how that's I'm going to go get myself a house. Is yeah, but why you got to do it like this? Like you 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 have cash in your backpack. What if somebody jumps you and steals your backpack? What are you going to do? And the, when he, he actually said that when I paid my, when I fin- call, paid off my college loans, don't you think that I could be able to do that? But he said that he didn't he didn't see a, a bill about that. So how would he know? So that's a different series, guys. I, I know that. Um, this is this is like the op, this is like we're watching the opposite version of the uh, the psycho series. But you know it's funny when um, when Michael was talking to Swift at the house, saying that quit giving his hopes up, saying oh this is my room, this is my room. Come on. You know what Swift actually said? Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can find that one. Because you guys got to see that. I actually caught that. I did not... I did not catch... I didn't catch it at first. I rewatched it because I want, I couldn't believe how... Um, he was so hyped up. Oh, here we are. So I'm talking about this is my room. Holy grail, what am I... It's just, you know, like, it putting it out there in the universe. You never know. Law of attraction. Putting it out there in the universe? What does that tell you right there? Putting it out there in the universe. <laughs> and what's, what's strangely enough is we see, we see mirrors. We see two mirrors on the side, and we see one mirror in the back. Something tells me that um, I have a feeling Jesse will go back to the mirror world, I think. Because he, I'm sure he doesn't do that. But overall... Seeing how uh, he wants Michael to talk to him about it, it's like, why are you having him to talk to you? That's not going to do anything. But hey, I'm 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 dragging on and on, guys. So let's do this.
Let's see. Let me go get my pen out. Oh, black. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Here, let me delete that. Now it's time for... Let's see if I can spell good. Pre... Diction. Boy, it's tough to draw it when your mouse is on a couch cushion. <laughs> now it's time for the prediction, guys. All right. What's to, to expect? What is to expect? Well, guys, after we've seen Big Brother's video, um, trying telling Psycho Dad in front of uh, in front of a kid behind the camera, it's kind of funny how they're using how Jeffrey and Jesse are using uh, kid behind the camera in order to tell their dad, "Oh, I quit. I'm quitting YouTube. I quit my job to do YouTube." And Jesse's trying to convince him to try to get a house or maybe talk to him about not kicking him out. And Michael just like, wait a minute, you guys are how old and you're and you can, you haven't told him? I would have told my dad right away. As you guys, have you guys seen all the angry angry grandpa videos? I've seen them all, and I also seen his vlogs too on also the aftermath of everything. It was really tough to see how, you know, be honest. They they were all be they were all honest with each other. I mean, hey, angry grandpa and kid behind the camera, man. It, you know, having to be a father and son, it was tough. They they had their ups and downs, but hey, they loved each other. But I like how he said, "Man, you give your father stuff." Yeah, he gave it to him because he wanted to, because he loved them. So, but that's the thing, guys. You notice how? Yeah, his dad bought him a car. His dad bought him a car. Now, as we've seen through the behind the scenes, and I know they're serious, but I'm just throwing this out there. After we've seen the cycle behind the scenes, we've seen them. Uh, he gave them money. He they on Christmas they gave them sixty five thousand uh, uh, dollars. Uh, thirty two thousand five hundred for each of them, which that, that was pretty amazing. I couldn't believe we saw that. And also on the MVE, we've seen him take them all to, to his, take his family to Hawaii. I mean, that was a great thing, but strangely enough, I know taking the whole family and everything else is that, but how come you didn't just buy like something extravagant for your um, family? I mean, the Alexa, we saw how he took that very easily, <laughs> although it's a psycho video. Think about it. But we've seen him buy all these things. For We've seen Michael buy all these things for Angry Grandpa because he that's his father. He loves him. And also seeing uh, that also one where he pretended to sell his dream car to get a, a new car, a 2018 Chevy a car, what, truck, whatever. And Bridget got upset and said, I, I still have my 55. This ain't my car. Merry Christmas, Bridget. It was like, what? Is that your car? He didn't sell it. And that was the best. That was the best prank ever. I mean, even on Christmas Day. But uh, back to the video at hand on the prediction. Huh. Well, I th well after we like I said before. Ugh, sorry guys, it's t I'm tired because it's storming out here. It's raining, and now my room is cold. My heater just cool is cooling off right now. So after seeing uh, Big Brother's video where he trapped me, snow snowbound his uh, uh, brother's friend inside that pool house, we see how Swift is actually watch uh, uh, Swift actually recording them. I bet he says, "Hey there, Julius, Joe Palma joining us here." And then I said, "Help, help!" It's like, "What was that? Is that Miguel?" And maybe that's how the video will start. I'm hoping. But um, I think that um, I think that how it's going to be. I think he's going to talk to his dad about something, and I think Michael will, will egg him, egg Jesse on to say, "Come on, you got to talk to him. Talk to him. This is your father. Why won't you talk to him?" And he said that he he doesn't look he doesn't look. I noticed that when he stopped on that talk in the party, he said that he doesn't look. Let, let's see if I. Just be taken serious, find out. Yeah. Okay. Watch. Watch. I noticed that. I saw that just now. Listen. What is that? He's trying to motivate you, Jess. To motivate me? Do you know how that makes me feel? That's too much pressure. Do you know how much pressure that is from a father? Bro, you have to be the one to talk. I'm going to talk, but I need you there with me while I do it's it. It's going to make things worse. He doesn't. He doesn't look. Look. He doesn't look what? I like how he thinks that he's the bad guy here. But, hey, if you guys remember back in the uh, later video, 
I think it was. Uh, oh yeah, it was Juggernaut's new house is destroyed. He actually admitted that I want him to get angry. I want I want him to get angry because I want to get views. But now here's the, now if that's the case, why is he what what makes what's getting him so worried? Oh I oh yeah that's oh yeah I just I just answered my own question. The reason why he said that, and I think the why he's upset right now is yeah it's really cold in my room, cold in this living room house right here. The reason why he's like this is because he's gonna be kicked out soon. That means he's not gonna have anybody to record, just him. But now let's go back to the very beginning and the devil inside. You guys remember that part right there, guys? Actually, you know what? Give me a sec. Give me one second. Now, guys, do you remember the back in uh, 2016 when, on the Devil Inside series, Snap Out of It? If you guys remember how like, he kept snapping in the characters for lots of reasons. And right here is the reason why. So let's take a listen. What, you, what is what is my problem then, Doctor? Is you seem so knowledgeable. You need to stop. I need to stop. You need to simply I need to keep stop. going. I have more stories to tell. I need more characters. I have Why to... can't Jesse tell the story? He does, but I need to use no, characters. You keep saying you need, you need. Jesse needs. What about what Jesse needs? When was the last time you were able to sit there and justify what Jesse needs? Nobody. Nobody wants to watch Jesse. Everybody wants to watch somebody who's more entertaining than Jesse is. So characters. So you escape your own reality through characters. You leave you to play other characters to make everybody else happy when yeah. you haven't been happy in years. In years. Mm -hmm. So you rather destroy yourself to make the rest of the world smile. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. He said that he nobody wants to watch Jesse. Nobody want, they want to see somebody entertaining, see the characters and everything. So, judging from what we're seeing in the in this uh, new series that we're seeing, it, what, what Jesse kept pointing out every single time that this is his real life. This is real life. This is how my dad is. He kept saying, "This is how my dad really is." So, we're actually seeing the real life of real life story of Jesse Ridgeway of how things are progressing in his house so we're actually seeing something entertaining we're seeing how the real jesse ridgeway not a character is trying to get himself out of a situation where he doesn't want to get kicked out at his own house so the question is why does he need a big uh, kid behind the camera to talk to his dad if he can't talk to him now i just I don't know exactly. It was, why would you YouTube? Listen, you, listen right here. Your dad. Okay. This is my dad. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Was, why would you no, talk no, about I'm just saying, I feel bad for him, dude. This vlog could go on for years with you. I don't know exactly. Was, why would you no, talk no, about I'm just saying, I feel bad for him, dude. This vlog could go on for years with you. Exactly. Exactly. Was, why would you no, talk no, about I'm just saying, I feel bad for him, dude. He's saying he feels bad for his dad. Right there, he's saying that he's actually feeling sorry for his dad, that he has to deal with um, Jesse and Jeffrey because... They still live at home, and they don't have places to live or have real jobs. Now, well, Jeffrey had a job, but Jesse hadn't. Just never had a job. All he did was, well, as we see in the, in the behind the scenes, he did banking and this and that. But then he quit because he wanted to do YouTube, and we saw how that how that flourished into something great when he did the Psycho series. And with Jeffrey, Jeffrey was had done baking all his life, and he has quit before. That was within the Devil Inside, and then he came back and wor started working. And then now, after two years, well, actually, I would say a year. Uh, yeah, I would say two years. And two years, we've seen him uh, do a job, do his work, because we've seen that he keeps wearing a, a white shirt, a nice, a nice uh, jacket with pants. That kind of tells me that he was at work. That's what that's what Jeffrey kept saying all along, and now he, and now he decided to quit. Right there, Michael just Mike uh, Michael just made a great point right there, guys. He just said that he feels sorry for his dad. He uh, he said he feels sorry that he has to deal with the situation, dealing about what he has to do with these two sons that haven't gotten their lives in order. So right there, that hit the nail in the head. So he feels sorry for his for for Mr. Ridgeway, his dad. So 
In three days, guys, well, this is day one right now. We've got two more days, or tomorrow we might actually see the actual video of them having their conversation with their dad. What to expect? I would say that Mike, um, I would say Kid Hyman Cameron will try to defend Jesse a lot, but I think he's going to try to keep egging Jesse on to talk to his dad, telling him how he feels. If you guys remember it exactly, back in the Snap Out of It video, he had a hard time talking about his true feelings to the wizard. And right now we're seeing how Jesse's having a hard time talking about his true feelings with his dad. After all, that he doesn't agree that YouTube is a job, which you guys kind of saw in the house hunting. It doesn't buy you a house. That's one thing. And um, they have nothing to record. He doesn't like being on the camera anymore because he's being portrayed as the bad guy. And Jesse is actually trying. I, I think that's what we're seeing with Jesse. Jesse act, is actually betraying him as the bad guy. Because he's saying that he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't appreciate this. He doesn't appreciate that, and he wonders why. Well, he told his son, maybe it's th maybe the time has come for you to stop doing what you're doing, and get a real job. He said he doesn't want to. So how is he gonna? How is this gonna affect him? I have a feeling that I think Psycho Dad will get on Jesse again. I think he'll kick him out, and I have a feeling that he might want to live with Michael obviously um maybe he will uh, or something maybe he will maybe just will throw in that he said that you would help me with anything remember when we were outside right there by the moor and you said you could help me with anything maybe you can help me with a house but here's a, here's the strange part he said that maybe maybe he could use their like their mortgage or use their house as a payment to get a house and that's bad Maybe we'll see Jesse trying to convince him that give him more time because I haven't found a place to live yet. And maybe Mike will try to let his dad like agree with him saying, yes, how about you just give him more time? We're going to get try to get some more. We're, try, we're looking at some houses. We're trying to find a place to live. I'm helping him out. And there will be arguments, but then after that, I think we will see uh, Psycho Dad come to terms saying that, okay, I'll give you another one. Another day, another week. If you guys remember the deadline back at the Psycho series where he told him, well, after when he when he saw his Wii U get uh, wood chipped in the wood chipper, <laughs> uh, he said that by the end of this month I'll get a job. But then that was the 31st of March. But then he gave him another week to find another job. And he didn't. So his dad decided to have a work with Uncle Chris. Anyway... Back to the back to the other video. I think we will see some arguments, and who knows? Maybe we'll finally see um, see him read Jeffrey's letter, and then he'll yell at both of them. And maybe they'll—I have a feeling maybe they'll kick them both out. And we'll see how these two will fend for themselves. And as for Michael, I have a feeling that Michael will just go home and just get on with his life, do and have fun with his own life with Bridget back in. Back where he lives. That's my prediction, guys. I have a feeling that uh, Michael will talk to him, ease him down a bit. But then when he's trying to, he wants Jesse to talk to him. And if we want to talk, I think his dad will get upset because he noticed that why is Michael doing all the talking for you? When are you going to start talking for you, talking for yourself? And, he, and that's where he said he doesn't want to hear me. It's better the reason why, that's why he doesn't respect you because you lied to him so much. And you don't, and you're treating him as a bad guy. You may think you might think that you're not, but you actually are. But that, that, this was just a story. But I, he, I think he has to get over it on the fact that yeah, you played a, a psycho dad, you were a bad person. But after that, now he's out of character now. But everyone still sees him as that. But he's got to learn to get over that. So that's my prediction, guys. I have a feeling that Jesse will try to argue the fact that YouTube is a job. Unless it, oh yeah, can you get a house? Tell me. Uh, he, he, I bet Barry said that. Have you went house hunting? Have, what were the prices of the house? Do you think you can afford it? And I think maybe I think he'll get on and say, I can't. I need a loan. And then he said, No, you're not gonna get a loan because that means when you take the loan, you gotta pay them back. And let me tell you, how are you gonna pay it back if YouTube is not gonna doing as well as you say it is? And I think they'll have a big argument. That's what I see. So. Guys, we're going to expect like a big world, uh, war inside that house. 
And I think the only person that will be fighting is his dad and Je Jesse and Jeffrey, but not kid behind the camera. He has nothing to do with it. I'm sure that he'll tell him to stay out of it, let him talk, and he'll say, go on, Jess, talk to him. Do it. And he won't say anything. He will keep saying, no, Michael makes a good point. I want you to listen to what he has to say. You don't need to hear me. But I have a feeling that Michael will not try to defend him much longer. So <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to see how that's going to turn out. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction, more gameplay. Drop some likes if you enjoyed this. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm right or do you think I'm wrong? Do you guys believe that uh, the real problem with Jesse, the real reason why his dad doesn't respect him is because he keeps lying so much or the fact that he doesn't believe in him? He said he does believe in him, but he said he wants you to do good. And ju well, judging from him trying to find a house, he's not doing good at all. So we'll find that out eventually if when that day comes. And I can't wait. And I like I said before, I can't wait to see that. All right, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget, like I always say, stay positive and oof, I can't wait for that to come.